This playthrough is rated M for Mature. Greetings and salutations everyone, Valdemar here with more Dragon Guard 3 for the PS3. Today's episode, Mikhail apparently is in trouble and we must save him. Oh, and I did that one one mission off screen already, the, uh, the, uh, oh, what's it called, the, uh, stinger meds or whatever. It's the same thing as Food Festival, just collecting something different, so... I think you get a silver material for it. So anyway, let's start with verse six and see if we can help uh, help Mikhail in his trouble. Seems to be more trouble than it's worth, really, when you think about it. Damn it, what now? Okay, I last episode I said I changed disciples and I did, but yet it resets them every back to frickin' these two. Not that I doesn't matter, but I just noticed that. Like every time I I change it, and if I don't change it again, it just resets them. That's kind of annoying actually. Alright, anyway, let's let's save Zero or Zero. Mikhail. God, why do I keep wanting to call the dragon Zero? How the hell did they make it this far? Look! Oster himself is with them! Huh, I've noticed the position. sword at Repeat! All keep your eyes on position. the ground. Yes, we don't want to stumble here. It's not that. Looking at that dummy just pisses me off. That big baby of yours sure does get tied up a lot. If Lady Three catches him, she may experiment on his body. Oh, that would be delectable. I mean, detestable. Yeah, anyway, I've noticed that the. Well, I guess it's pretty obvious, but each sword has a different style if it's S, M, or, or L. I've noticed a lot of stuff doesn't stay S version very long. They usually upgrade to a heavier class of weapon. I guess it makes sense with all the power that goes to it. Yeah, get back over here, you. It's not like my AI disciples are doing anything better. Then again, she is a terrible leader, so it's not like uh, it's not like she's teaching them anything important. You know? Actually, they're disciples. It's the same thing, you idiot! I, I noticed that they tried to do it in the nerd voice. They're like, exactly, they're disciples. I'll have you know that not all nerds down like that. <laughs> anyway, let's keep climbing the tower and chase I, after these guys. I no, will protect Lady don't to the very end. Well said, kid. You do that. I'm just gonna let you take the lead. We'll be better. You're awfully reserved. Huh? You're not going, ah, yeah. oh, or I tried super hard, or whatever. Oh, can I? Hey, in that case, guess what? Guess what, huh? Shut it, dummy. The ivy's just gonna dig deeper into you. Hold still and be quiet until I can cut you down. Are there any treasure chests in this, like, area? Or is this a, like, a boss-ish type of fight? I don't know, I guess we'll find out here in a minute. So I haven't noticed any, uh, any, uh, treasure chest or anything. Okay. Can you go that way? I guess we have to jump around or something. Uh, okay, maybe I need to cut him down. Okay, I climbed up a, uh, thing. Gotcha. I didn't notice the ramp. <laughs> Switch my sword for a bit. Actually, now that this sword's like a large model, I, I swapped out my sword, by the way. Uh, I'm, it's not as uh, quick and easy to, uh, to use on this. So we need to get to his vine and cut him down. I assume I just I have to use the chalk rim on that, or not. Me. 
You can whine at me later. Octa. Please, let's put an end to this here. I don't understand. What are you doing over there? I betrayed you. Is that so? <sighs> In any case... You might want to pay a little more attention to your surroundings, hmm? <sighs> Apparently those soldiers yes, can knock me down. Why did you betray me? Because I had grown weary of your conduct, my lady. The way you experimented on people. The way you ruthlessly toyed with their lives. I simply could not abide it any longer. Your recreational activities drove me away. Hmm. I don't think you're telling the truth. My lady, I... You left because your lust needed a more eager life. Your limitless desire no longer caused my honey to flow. And so you grew restless. That's the well, it may have been a reason, but... He was basically too horny for his own good. If that's such a thing, I assume that's a thing. That sounds like a thing. At least uh, Mikhail can uh, kill things when, the, when he needs to, you know. What does make the old honey flow these days? Hmm. Oh, please. Don't play dumb with me. I know you have desires. I... I no longer hold any love for my disciple. My love is reserved for my soldiers now. My sweet, beloved little soldiers. So she's into toys, huh? Well, that's not surprising. Some ladies just don't feel uh, that a man can do it, so they need uh, some uh, so enhancement to uh, decision, Octa? It is. I serve Lady Zero in all things now. You don't say. Even in the ways, you know. Oh, I don't. I just noticed I don't have to hold down the button anymore. I can just press it once and then just run with it. That seems to be the more effective target, at least with these all these. Uh, Mobs. My lady, you must put an end to these atrocities. You seem to be somewhat confused, Octa. A disciple doesn't choose his intoner. An intoner chooses her disciple. <laughs> <laughs> Damn you! Behold the third song! Quickened puppets of antiquity! The raging demon's deathly gaze! The army of heretics that rejects the natural cycle! Render into ash the powers of reason and order! I, Octa, summon thee in my name. All missile invade!
Uh oh, we got some puppets to kill. So she's like a puppet master or something? Like we cannot stop Lady 3 now! <laughs> I'm not scared of some whack job loser who hides in a room making dolls. They're not oh, dolls, shoot. my lady. They're soldiers she's operated on. <laughs> what? Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> I love it! They're trying to jump on me. Little freaky babies and things. Ah, so apparently charging gets them off of you. I noticed. Dang. I can't really use my flamethrower act, you know what I mean? Otherwise they'll just jump on my... They'll jump on my ass! That's a, that's a, it seems like her, her style is, is... Well, not puppetry per se, but you know, experimentation and stuff like that. There's always one of those bad guys in every... Epic, uh, either RPG or game. Alright, now the big boy herself or something. Ah, that's not working. Oh, God. Oh, Jiminy Christmas. I don't seem to be able to do damage after it's a beam. Ah, oh, come on! That attack is like it uses up a lot of power. Wait for an opening and then strike. Blah! Their heads came off! They came off! Good. Now crush those bastards! Ow. Stop it. I'm in the middle of something right now. Me too. I'm in the middle of something. Something weird. What is it? Whatever I look at the screen, it's like, like my body gets hot. There's this weird pain in my chest and tummy, and I start to get all tingly. What should I do, Zero? Am I sick? Yeah, it's called love. Probably terminal. No, Zero. It's not like that. This is serious. It's, it's more like... Well, he fell in love with Lady 3 or something? Oh, he's probably getting more power or something like that, you know? <laughs> Zero, that was wonderful! Did you really think something like that would finish an intoner? What the? Did he really just do that? The dragon shows his true colors. Is this what dragons are? Ah, well. Hello there. So my name's Scent. And I was sent here by Lady Two. I've come to take this horrid dragon off your hands. Uh, wh wait Ooh, sorry, out of time. I'm kind of a busy guy, see? Fact, I only had eight hours of sleep last night. If I weren't as powerful as I am, I'd likely be dead by now. And that would be a shame of epic proportions. <laughs> but listen to me go on. I'm gonna be late, and then Lady Two might get angry. Not that I'm scared of her or anything. Oh no, nothing like that. Wouldn't want you to get the wrong idea about me. Anyway... Gotta go, kids. Ta-ta for now. <laughs> Mikhail... Mikhail... 
Hale. Mika Hale. Yay, mission complete. But what is this? After Lady Three was almost defeated, Mikhail decided to eat her. What? I thought he was like this lovely, lovely child that didn't want to hurt anyone. Strange indeed. Oh, we got forest payday now. Eh, yeah, might as well check that out before we finish today's episode, I think. I mean, we're pretty much hard done, but forest payday is basically just... Like all the others, you fight some really nasty monster. If you can kill it in time, you get double money. And then you, you can try and kill the, uh... God, too many... Too many weapons. Not enough money. Oh, now they got recovery potion L. Yeah, let's go ahead and buy one. Get it out of the way. And I still can't buy copper materials. And we're basically in chapter 4 now. Hoo-hoo! Off I go, then. Let's, uh, whoops. No, no, stop it. Stop flipping that book. Right, let's go see what payday, what mo what basically what big ass monster do I have to fight to, uh, to, uh, get the money for it. I probably won't beat it, most likely. I'll probably get my, my rear handed to me and only get, like, a couple of gold coins. It's worse when you get hurt, because every time you get hurt during that, you actually lose money. So if you're doing really poorly and getting beat on, you're probably losing all the coinage you even earned to begin with. So you could probably end up with, like, very little money. Oh, come on. I look like I didn't have gold to begin with. Let me get fucking close, you bastard. Thank you. Fuck you! Bullshit. That's what I think. Let's get some money for this. Even if I don't kill him, I'll still get something from it. Hey, I actually killed him. Right before the time ran out. I'll at least get the double double coinage uh, ability. Yeah. yeah. I definitely will not kill the soldier by the time. Yeah, I didn't think I was going to. Oh well, still, we'll get 10,000 gold. I mean, that's better than nothing, right? I still I still do better on the uh, seaside payday. I at least get 20,000 from that. And that's faster to go through, really. I almost feel like that that's probably the best way to money grind, other than doing standard missions and stuff like that. Which gives you... Doing standard missions give you a decent amount of money, too, if you want to level up at the same time. Although, if you want to level, I don't know, the survival mode might actually be the best way to do that. Since the survival, it it's a little long, but you get a lot of experience for it. Alright, well... Anyway, in the next episode of Dragon Guard 3, Mikhail's been captured by Lady 2 and we must chase after him. But what has happened to him? And why has he suddenly become changed from this little kid to, like, this savage monster that'll eat in toners? Find out next time on Dragon Guard 3. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed.